Look, at, they stopped us because they're moving the old. Look at this old fire truck. I wish this guy wasn't in the way. Look, 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 look. That's what fire trucks used to look like. Look at that. I love trucks and cars that look like this. Not that I go to the shows. I just think they're so cool. Hi, guys. Oh, my God. Look at this hair. So, I should have washed my hair this morning. But I didn't because I'm on the lookout for the... Oh, my God. <laughs> it's big today. I'm trying to look for the butts and the plugins to iPads because we are going iPad Live this morning with my girls in the store. Before that, we've been on paper. I know. We're from the 80s. These guys are from the 80s. But today we get into the modern era. And so, um, but. We had a survey program where the surveyors would use iPads to survey, and every time a girl would quit or get fired, she would return the iPad. I've never ha not had an iPad returned, but not the plug-in. Like, they keep them. And I ne I'm never there when they come by to drop it off. No, 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 no. Some assistant's there and doesn't say, like, can I have the plug? So now I'm going to go buy six because that's what I have. I have six. Oh, come on. I'm going to go buy six butts and plugs and I'm rushing to work to um, meet the girls and train them on the iPad. Back into the future. <laughs> so silly. Cozy's good. She uh, is acting like her old self, but we can't let that fool us. She has an appointment tomorrow at 11.30. I'm gonna try to actually film it so I don't miss anything, number one. Number two, so you can see what's happening and I can post it on my GoFundMe, which is kind of dried up already. <laughs> I need one rich person that says, you know what, this lady's been through enough. She lost her hair boyfriend. She's, you know, she's a single woman that works seven days a week. I do. I work seven days a week. People don't believe me, but I do. And let me explain why. Because what happens is I have crews that are either out on the streets, out in the stores, or in a room, in an office. Okay. So, um, so, uh, those crews have to be, somebody has to, like, run them. You can't just, like, say, oh, go work. Because Believe me, even running them, they don't do it. <laughs> so, so I am the per they're my crews. I hired, trained, got them involved. They're in, they're in three states, four states, really. Um, so, I have to coordinate them every day, even if I'm, even on Sunday. On top of that, on top of that, they make appointments, and those appointments have to be confirmed and, like, on a dispatch board. So, without, so without somebody doing that, if they would run amok, 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 amok. <laughs> Tell me what that's from. Amok, 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 amok. I work seven days a week because Sunday's a big day. And Monday through Thursday, I'm in the office. And then Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I work from home. But I work. And can't go to a movie. Can't do any of that. I gotta answer my phone. I am a phone bitch. Alright, so let's go see if I can find these butts. Come on, come on, butts, butts. Oh my god, look at that. Look at that. I think it's easy to have hair like this. You're wrong. Um, so Jenna Marbles has these pink canvases, and you you pour like white or black on them or whatever black background color you want and then you take rope and you put it in a a cup of paint and then you lay the thing on and then you swirl it and like swirls I want to try and do it I paint but I paint paint you want to see my paintings I'll put a couple in I only have a couple of pictures of my paintings because usually I give them away and um 
once I give them away, um, I just take a picture of them and then I give them away. But like paintings that are older are up in people's houses, but not, but I don't sell them. Like my sister's the real artist. Like she sells them and has gallery openings and I do landscapes, anything that looks wicked. <laughs> Because that's my nature. I don't like it. All right, I gotta go and get butts. Get my hair under here. <laughs> it's so big today, it feels like I have a pillow. They had the cords and they had the butts, but they were $18 a piece for the junky ones. Yeah, I'm going to Dollar Store. Well, Carrie, oh my God. And then last night I was on the phone with Kimmy until like, I don't know, midnight, trying to figure something out on the iPad. And we all got it down, everything was cool. And then I get off the phone with her and I hear my phone bling at like one in the morning. I'm like, so I pick up my phone and look and it's Carrie and she says, oh my God, my dog just got hit, uh, got sprayed by a skunk. Oh what? Now I've had that happen. So, a long time ago in Conowingo, when I lived in Conowingo, Maryland, which is like, but fuck nowhere. Um, although it's really pretty. One night I was putting this big long kitchen table together from my in-laws they had sent it down I'm I got the I finally dragged this thing to the right place and I flipped it upside down to put the like you had to have, I think I had like three pedestals it was so heavy it was so big and Bismarck and um lamb look at me lamb um one of my dogs which I'm gonna use that against nobody steal it because lamb is such a cute name all of a sudden, both dogs like took off up the hill. So I was like, where are you going? So I holler, I'm like, Bismarck, Lamb, come on, where are you going? Get down here. So they didn't come back right away. And I was, I could hear them like rustling around up there. And I'm like thinking, oh great, they found a raccoon and they all had their shots, but still like, I didn't want them getting hurt. So I was like, Bismarck, and he was pretty good. So all of a sudden I hear Bismarck. Bismarck comes like charging down the hill and lambs after him. And they're smiling, you know, they're like, yay. And across the street, and I turn around and I go back in and sit back down on the floor thinking, well, they're coming back, everything's okay. And I sit back down on the floor and start doing it. And all of a sudden they come like happily bursting into the kitchen. And they are covered in scum spray. Covered. And what do they do? They just leap on me, you know? And I'm like, oh my god. They were covered in scum. Covered. I just scream. I remember I'm a city girl. Wolf took me out to this goddamn country, which I still appreciate now. But back then I didn't. And um, now I'm dealing with like skunk. Stuff. It was everywhere. It was like on their chest and their feet and their head. For a year, every time it would rain and they got wet, you could smell the skunk. <laughs> so anyway, I went to my neighbor's house. This is in the, at night. This is like, I don't know, 90, I, I don't know what time. I don't remember, honestly. But it was like at night, you know, I'm alone. Like when you're in, when you live in a place like that, you're just like by yourself. Like even though I had one neighbor, a uh, little the little house next door, and Kate and her husband Pinky lived there, and so I tromped myself over there, even though it's like the middle of the night, because I don't know what to do with these dogs. I don't. I've never dealt with anything like this. So she got up and got me um, cans of tomato juice. Believe it or not, she had some, because who the fuck had that? And then she had made a bunch of her own um, stewed tomatoes, and she gave me like a bunch of jars of that, and said, just keep washing them. So in the middle of the night, yep, I washed them about 10 times. I was exhausted.
exhausted. I smelled like skunk. Like, you can't get that shit off. It's just awful. It's the worst smell. And it burned your eyes. And they were like wagging their tails, getting it all over. Oh my God. But thank God I just washed them outside. And, um, yeah. So that's what happened to me. But Carrie. her last night in her backyard, which is amazing. I mean, I guess skunks are everywhere because she does not live in the country. I mean, my dogs went looking for her. Hers didn't. Hers was just in her backyard because she doesn't let the dogs out. And poor old Roscoe. He's old and he hasn't felt well lately. And oh my God. So, um, I texted her that, well, like, when she told me that, I was like trying to tell her how to get rid of it or try. Anyway, I gotta go. I've talked way too long today. I'm probably gonna end it way before this. I'm just rattling today. I love you guys.